Hello. I am Pranav. Welcome to my channel Trek and Food. This is my first ever video blog which was shot back in the year 2010. Today we are on a short trip to Kos. Lot of people visit Kos on Sundays, because they have time on weekends. It's a nice place. Let's move on. The Kas Plateau Reserved Forest, also known as the Kas Pathar, is a plateau situated 25 kilometers west from Satara city in Maharashtra. It falls under the Sayadri sub-cluster of the Western Ghats, and it became a part of a UNESCO World Natural Heritage Site in 2012. The Kas Plateau, situated on high hill, turns into a grassland or the Valley of Flowers during monsoon season particularly from August to early October. It has more than 150 or more types of flowers, shrubs and grasses. The orchids bloom here for a period of three to four weeks during this season. We decided to take a bike ride to the plateau. This place was not as popular back in the year 2010 as it is now. We were going to make multiple stops at many scenic locations on the way towards Kos Plateau. You are able to see the backwaters of the Ermodi project towards your left and Kandra Dam's backwaters towards your right. The direction I am pointing towards is Chakwadi, one of the largest windmill farms in Asia in the Satara district of Maharashtra. It is among the popular Satara tourist places. The break grills. Where am I going to get it? Mr. Bray grills of Discovery Channel. Oh my God, this is awesome. After a short break we started our journey towards the Kos Plateau. After a steep climb up the hill you come across the vast flat land of Kos. A narrow road runs through the bed of rocks which is home to the flowers. The plateau is situated at an altitude of 1,200 meters and is approximately 10 square kilometers in area. Kos has more than 850 different species of flowering plants. These include orchids, shrubs such as the carvae, and carnivorous plants such as Drosera indica. Kos Pathar is a plateau made from volcanic igneous rocks and comes under the biosphere of the Western Ghats. Owing to the increasing popularity of Kos, number of visitors to this place has also increased tremendously. This had started resulting in causing damage to the blooming flowers. Few irresponsible tourists had started clicking their photographs sitting in between the bed of flowers causing damage to those flowers. Other visitors followed suit. To control possible damage by tourists, the number of visitors to the plateau has been restricted to 3,000 per day. The plateau experiences a natural cycle of extreme conditions, with wet waterlogged cool monsoons, very dry hot summer, 45 degrees Celsius, 
and dry winter, 5 degrees Celsius. The soil is acidic only a thin layer on top of laterite rock underneath. Extreme seasonality influences the ecology of the site. As the plateau ends you start descending towards the Kos Lake. Kos Lake also known as Kos Talav, built in 1875, is a perennial source of water supply for western part of Satara city by gravity. Drinking water supply to Satara. And we are walking beside it. Cool, na? The altitude of this lake is approximately 1,060 meters. It is open from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. and has an entry fee of rupees 100 per person. This is our and we are using it as a dustbin to carry home. I urge everyone to carry bags to collect your trash like plastic water bottles, wrappers, cans, paper etc. that gets generated when you go on such trips. Protecting the environment is a regular activity to encourage awareness and action the protection of the environment. <laughs>